Okay, here's a quick video to show you how to use the mid-segment theorem to solve for a value, a length, um, and we're adding some algebra to it. So most of you now know that the relationship between the mid-segment and a triangle and the side that it's parallel to is that it's half the length. So if I try to put that into an equation, I'm literally going to write exactly what I just said. 13 is my mid-segment is, in math, is is equals one-half the length of the third side, which is 2x minus 10. And that's one option for how we can write it. Um, some of you may be thinking the reverse, that if that's half of it, well then, 2 times the mid-segment would equal the third side, and that's fine. So we could have written it this way. 2 times 13 is equal to... 2x minus 10. And if you actually look at what we just did, we could say that we took the first equation, multiplied by 2 on the right, and multiplied by 2 on the left. Of course, the 2's on the right cancel out, because it's times 2 and divided by 2 when we're, divide, when we're multiplying by a half. So we literally end up with that second equation right there, just by taking that first one and doing what I would do anyways if I was solving it. So from here, it's just an algebra problem. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off just to make sure you're good with your algebra. 2 times 13, 26 equals 2x minus 10. And I'm going to add 10, so I get 36 equals 2x dividing by 2. x is 18. It's probably worth taking a quick second and plugging in just to check our work. So if I put in my 18, 2 times 18, I'm putting it into this expression. So 2 times... 18 minus 10 gives me a 36 minus 10, which is a 26. For that length right there is 26, actually 2 times 13, indeed it is. And therefore, I am pretty confident that I got that one correct. Let's try one more. So, looking at the next one, similar concept, maybe a little bit more algebra. We've got two expressions this time instead of a number. Last time we could have just gotten that 26. Now I've got an expression for the mid-segment and also for the third side. So still two options for your equations. If you wanted to write your equation, um, we could have 2x minus 5. Whoops. Change your colors. 2x minus 5 is equal to 1 half of 3x plus 7. Mid-segment is half the third side. Or you could have started by saying 2 times the quantity 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 7. And once again, that's just the opposite. I literally took the first one, multiplied by 2, and multiplied by 2. From there, um, I am going to have to distribute this time because this time I've got... 2 times the quantity 2x minus 5. So I'm getting 4x minus 10 is equal to 3x plus 7. Haven't changed that. And then let's just go ahead and get our like terms together. So subtracting 3x, I get x equal to add 10, and I'm getting 17. Let's double check and see how we did. So the mid-segment length would be 2 times 17 minus 5, that's giving me 34 minus 5, which is 29. And then the length of the third side would be 3 times 17 plus 7, which is giving me 3 times 17. Grabbing a calculator for that one. 3 times 17, I'm getting 51. Plus, oops, plus 7. Gives me 58, and indeed, 58 divided by 2 is 29, so I've got that relationship there that I was looking for. Again, that's just me checking my work, but probably worth your time just to make sure everything is good. Hopefully that helps you to be able to use the mid-segment theorem appropriately.